<clears throat> hey guys, welcome to game three between Taranak and Tenderization. Thus far, the game is evened up one versus one. Tenderization starting in the upper left-hand corner is the red Terran, bottom right-hand corner Taranak starting as the purple Terran. This is going to be on Allegro, which I don't think I've done a commentary on Allegro yet. Natural expansion, at kind of a scooped. Usually I, I feel like this is more interesting for ZVT in particular, where you can see the Mutalisks over this edge can get some solid harassment over that wall, and it's a pretty good map for all-in uh, two-hatch mutal play. Exposed third, so you can see where having map control can be really significant, where vultures could be an absolute huge harassment uh, past that. What's really interesting is the mid-map. We have, sometimes players will just avoid this, but you've got kind of a ramp. You know what this map would be good for? This map would be good for Titan. Uh, for Titan. So if I run into Allegro again, I'll actually uh, kick up Titan Reactor and we'll do a Titan Reactor commentary with it. But anyway, Tenderization. It's, it's actually arguable whether he is or not, but he is definitely one of the top contenders in the memes category in the Brood War community. I want to say number one, but that's a tough spot. There's a lot of competition as far as the memes game in Brood War. But he's definitely, I would say, you know, top five, maybe even top three. I don't want to give him just the all-in-out number one spot because there's just been so many artosis meme stuff out there but solid brought us uh, saltosis which gives the salt indicator on artosis level of play where he is as far as level of salt barracks being constructed to the corner for taranak also tacking on that refinery no geyser as of yet so tenderization looks like maybe wants to go for a 13 14 cc Looks like, yeah, it's going to be a 13 command center at the natural. This is a four-player map. We'll see if he is able to pull it off. And Taranak already sending out that initial scout. Now, this could end up being disastrous. So we got three SCV on gas. And we'll see if the SCV pull off gas once 100 is in the bank to go for that expansion to follow up. But right now, Taranak scouting that bottom left-hand corner. I think there's going to be room to... Building that initial ring, there will be room to recover this for Taranak if he does pull off the SCVs. Leaving the SCVs on, so this might even be, this might be a foregone conclusion, might be two factory play. So first factory being built, SCVs are staying. So this could be a disaster as far as a defense for tenderization. Barracks being built on the low ground, but could be, yeah, early expand into two factory pressure, which is a tough defense. Refinery being built, barracks on the low ground, commands that are not that far from being finished, and Taranak, I think, is going to like what's there, especially considering all of this gas. Yeah, going at, was thinking about the two-factory play even before SCVs being blocked out, so tenderization doesn't even know what the call is as far as the potential play in base. And the SCV, oh, this is unfortunate for Taranak, at least, though, because scouting cross-position... So not going to know that it was a command center first build. I don't think that's going to affect play going starport to follow. That's unfortunate. So double starport. So we're going to see some quick wraith play. This is defendable for tenderization. But could be a fun build overall. Taranak wanting some of that early wraith pressure. This would have been really, really good against a three factory vulture or something along those lines with an engineering bay however and some play otherwise it could be defensible for tenderization takes a while for wraith to get the field taranak going to scout i think has to assume that that command center is up I think that was within range to spot it engineering being built on that corner, SCV just gonna, this is gonna be huge. Tenderization gonna be able to walk in, see the factory and confirm the Wraith. Mm. And Tenderization with that solid follow-up play, now going to be in an excellent position to defend this. Knows that the turrets are needed, knows to build Goliaths. Defensive starport being built. 
And yeah, just needs some decent turret placement. There's the armory on the way. So now it is going to be a tall order for Tarnak to hold this game. Six SCV deficit thus far. Does have that siege tank out. But that, yeah, the delay with the starports means that missile turrets can come online. Goliath can start taking the field. Should be a decent defense. Tenderization putting himself in the red, though, to get some of these defenses up. Yeah, and the Wraith only getting scouting information, one of them getting wiped out immediately. And let's see the fallout for, for Taranak. Thus far, still building Wraith, maybe with some siege tanks and siege tech and having that superiority. Armory's there just in case it's needed, but honestly, I don't even think a Goliath is going to be required here. Siege tech. Siege tank being built. Second starport, so tenderization wanting to follow this up with Wraith of his own. So Taranak pressing forward. Three Wraith, a siege tank, a marine, the one thing that Wraith beat. Paper airplanes, I tell you. Getting backed off, at least able to get a marine kill. There is at least a little bit of space to maybe get a supply depot, something along those lines. Not a lot of health left on this Wraith. It looks like it is going to be able to peek that corner, maybe to get some Wraith or some SCV kills. But here's the thing, like even this, it takes forever to kill SCV. And you can almost repair SCV on the corner there and not even miss anything. Two siege tanks versus two siege tanks on the front. Tender getting the better exchange there. Still able to hold Siege Tanks on repair. Two kills for that Wraith, at least able to get that. But Terranak way behind economically. Counter Wraiths being built. Some additional Siege Tanks being fielded. And just now, yeah, the Command Center about halfway finished for Terranak. So not, not the best situation here. The Wraith, silent. As far as construction goes, the rest of them gathering up. Some Marines going to go ahead and try to push the rest of this back. Taranak trying to use what advantages are possible. Missile turret being built into that back corner. A Goliath taking the field. And I think that is going to be it. Yeah, the turret being canceled. Only one Wraith remaining. So you got one Marine, one Wraith as far as a pressure position. 10, 11, no, 10 worker lead for tenderization. A loose contain. The siege tank counts a little bit even, but honestly, all tenderization has to do is add on some factories and should be able to just outproduce Taranak over the long haul. So one Wraith remains. That'll at least give a bit of a spotting advantage. And as I say that, four Wraith making their way out. That's going to be it for the siege tank on the front. And now, does Taranak have defense for the Wraith on the other side? I don't think so. Two more Wraith being produced. But an exposed natural expansion, no engineering bay in place. As far as a heads-up fight, unless there's some SCV repairing, Tenderization's going to end up winning. Heads up in the air. And there's GG from Taranak. Tenderization able to secure set one to continue in the winner's bracket. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.